Hey everyone, so I have another bath cocktail for you today. Uh, this bath cocktail is called Lemon Lime and I basically thought this up the other night when I just wanted to take a random bath and I, I had a caucus bath bomb sitting out on my dresser and I really wanted to try it out. So I started thinking of things that might go along with it really well and I was like, well hey, why not do like a lemon lime spray kind of thing. So I started looking for something lemon and that's where I got the sexy peel from. So, uh, so the soap I'm using is the sexy peel and I have a lot of this. This one actually has some sunny side stuck on it because I packed it away with some sunny side and that's a piece of uh, paper from the yellow bag. So, but it's still good, a very strong lemon scent and this has pieces of um, orange peel and lemon peel in it. So I really love that soap. Uh, the bath bomb I'm using is Kalakas. This is from this year's Halloween. It was limited edition and it actually sold out really fast in my store. So if you didn't see it, it's probably because it sold out. But this is a very strong lime scent. I love this scent. It's amazing. I love this whole line. The Lady Katrina soap, this bath bomb, and the Kalakas shower gel, which is right here. So the shower gel jelly has a very strong lime scent as well. Um, it's, I love this scent. I mean, really, you can't go wrong with this. It has lime oil in it and it's actually, let me show you what it looks like outside. Let me try to make him sit up. He's got a little face, if you can see it. He's got a giant forehead up here, and then he's, these are his eyes, and that's his mouth. Um, like I said, I've already taken pieces out of the backside of him. I didn't want to ruin his face, because he's still pretty, except for his giant forehead. But yeah, I'm, I use pieces of him, actually, as the bath bomb. I'm sorry, the bubble bar. So, and it worked really well, actually. So, let me go, go ahead and fill up the tub a little bit. And I'm going to throw in the uh, shower jelly as my bubble bar real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually using a tea ball. And I put a good sized chunk of this shower jelly. You don't even need this much. You could actually use a little bit less. Um, probably a quarter size will work just fine. So probably half this will work. Um, I'm using this much just because I have a bigger tub. I'm actually staying at the Bellagio tonight in Las Vegas, so it's a bigger tub, as you'll see in a minute. So I want to fill this up with some bubbles. So I have that bad boy in there. I kind of push it down a little bit, try to get it to stay in the mesh. It takes a little bit, but yeah. So I'm going to put the lid on this. And I'm going to go ahead and hang this guy right onto the faucet and I'll show you what it looks like with the water hitting it. Okay, so this is my tub that I'm working with today. I'm gonna go ahead and pan you around. So it's a pretty deep tub. This is actually a pretty nice bathroom. It's got the marble floors and everything. I'm really enjoying this room. It's got an even better room, um, even better view of the uh, Agio fountains, uh, which actually aren't going off right now because I'm filming this video so late. But yeah, so I already have the little tea ball hanging. Let me go ahead and turn on my water. Let's see if this holds. inside the tub already. I'm getting some good bubbles in there. And this is a really good idea if you don't have a kind of bubble bar that smells like something um, that you, you're really looking for. Go ahead and look through your shower jellies. If you look through your shower jellies, you might even be able to find something that goes even better with that bath cocktail you're looking at. So I really enjoy using the shower jellies as my bubble bar. Um, because it gives you so many bubbles and it really is um, soft on your skin. I love using iced wine 
as a bubble bar. That one, I really love that scent. I have so many bottles, um, containers of that, so. So let me go ahead and turn this on all the way, get some bubbles going, and then I will show you the bath bomb. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm actually gonna put my bath bomb in this same tea ball because the marigold um, petals that are inside this bath bomb really freak me out in the bath. They look like worms. Um, some people like the stuff floating in the bathtub with them. It kind of freaks me out. It always makes me think there's a bug in there somewhere. So that's why I take it out. But I love this tea ball because you can put, you know, your soap in here. You could put your, you know, your bath melt in here. If it's got any pieces in it you don't like, I mean, your bath bomb, the bubble bar, it's, it's really amazing. So um, I got this at World Market and I've loved it. It was only like seven bucks, I think. Might have been cheaper than that, I don't remember. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in and let it do its thing. Um, the marigold petals will stay in there. This also works really well with any other kind of ba uh, bath bomb that you have that has lots of chunks in it. Um, say the uh, Tizzy Totsy or um, the Big Blue. That helps a lot with Big Blue because it has so much seaweed in it, even though it's good for your skin. Um, it's not really good for your drain. It clogs it up. Uh, what I sometimes do is I'll leave the tea, the tea ball in the bath with me, especially if I have like big blue. That way I can keep that seaweed in the water without it floating around with me. So I'm still getting, you know, the skin softening seaweed, but I'm not having to deal with the cleanup later on. So I really do enjoy having the tea ball with me. Or if you don't have that, just go ahead and use like an old piece of like hosiery or even just go out and buy some new stuff. Um, it really doesn't matter. All you need is just like a small length of it and it really doesn't come in handy. So let me go ahead and let that finish up. I'll finish filling up the tub and I'll show you the end result. So while that tub's filling up, let me go ahead and show you my view. So it's a seriously like floor to like floor to ceiling window it's really amazing so amazing view just like from the other night I mean yeah you've got the lake right here so this is where the Bellagio fountains go off um, the last bath cocktail we were the cosmopolitan right around right here the planet Hollywood Paris you've got Bally's Bally's I don't know what it's called um, Flamingo, and like all over here you have like the Venetian, the Palazzo. Um, to the left of here is Caesar's Palace, so I mean really, you've got a good chunk of the strip in this view, so it's really amazing. But yeah, just want to show you guys that. So, I'm showing this, this picture right now, this is right above the tub, because I want you guys to remember that this tub does not have jets, it's just a regular plain deep tub, and um, you saw that little chunk of you know shower jelly that I used. I want you to see how many bubbles I have in this bathtub. Are you ready? Boom! Look at that. I'll even move you back so you can get a full pan of that. Look at that. That's a ton of bubbles. Like that's a giant hilltop bubbles. Like you can see where the water is over here. And this like length, like length, how deep. That's like, that's all bubble right there. How crazy is that? Yeah, I like this tub a lot. So the bath bomb, I believe, is over here somewhere. If I can find it somewhere. I can hear it moving around. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to find it. So this definitely has a lemon Right now, it actually is just lime because I haven't put the soap in there. So if you want a really lime-scented, you know, bath, just stick to this. Oh my God, I just had it. It's gone. I can't find it, guys. So I'm not able to show you. That's okay. So the color, as you can tell, it's seriously... Like a lemon lime kind of color, um, yeah. Not like Sprite, because obviously Sprite's like really white, but it's a really, really good color. 
I'm really excited for this bath. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and enjoy this bath. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.